Anthem, Blue Cross, and Sutter, music to people's ears. Hi, I'm Kevin Knaus with insuremekevin.com. And for 2022, Anthem Blue Cross has announced that they will be expanding their EPO plans in Northern California, and they will be including Sutter doctors and hospitals. That's pretty big news. So let's look at the map here for the Anthem coverage for the individual and family plans through Covered California or directly through Anthem Blue Cross. And you can see a lot of blue on there. Those are the counties that will be offering the, their EPO plans. Now, an EPO plan is very similar to a PPO plan. The big difference is that there is no out-of-network coverage with an EPO plan. EPO stands for Exclusive Provider Organization. But with a PPO plan, you really don't want to go out of network. The deductibles start out of network coverage like at $5,000. So you kind of want to avoid that at all costs. And if your favorite doctors are already in your plan, you really don't have any reason to go out of network. So you can see all of that blue on there. Now the, the tan is the Anthem Blue Cross HMO plans and only in those counties, a few in the Central Valley and mainly Southern California, will they only be offering their HMO plans. But the rest of the areas will have the EPO plans. But, you know, just because someone says something doesn't mean it's really gonna be happening. So I went to the Sutter website and checked and sure enough they show anthem blue cross of california pathway epo individual and family effective 1 1 2022 and then you know they say you need to make sure that your doctor is there because there are a couple different medical groups uh for sutter uh, like the sutter independent physician association uh, maybe those doctors may not be in there but um, most of them will be if it's in a sutter medical network and this is a list of all the hospitals that will be included. This is from the Sutter uh, website. So you can see in the Bay Area, Alta Bates, California Pacific. We have Eden um, Memorial Hospital down in Los Banos. Now, some of these hospitals were in the Blue Cross EPO network because they needed to have some of those hospitals. Sometimes they're the only ones around like Sutter Amador. I think that's the only hospital up there. But you can see Sutter Roseville for people in uh, Sacramento and Placer counties, Sutter Santa Rosa, Sutter Solano, and Sutter Tracy are all in network hospitals with the Blue Cross EPO. And then this is a list of the medical groups. You can see Palo Alto uh, Foundation Medical Group, that's Bay Area, uh, Mills Peninsula, um, Gould, uh, Sutter Medical Group of the Redwoods, North Coast, uh, West Bay, Solano, East Bay. So uh, a lot of the Sutter uh, medical groups will be in there. You always need to check to make sure that your doctor that may be affiliated with Sutter but not at one of these medical groups is in that EPO. So you just can't, it's just not a blanket. But having the Sutter doctors and hospitals in the Anthem Blue Cross is big because before um, this happens, it, from 2021 back to, I think, about the inception of um, the Affordable Care Act in 2014, the only way you could get Sutter doctors and hospitals was to enroll in a Blue Shield PPO plan. And they can be expensive, primarily because they had Sutter <laughs> doctors in there. Um, so now that the Sutter doctors are in the Anthem Blue Cross EPO network, what is that going to be doing with the rates? So this uh, Cover California did an analysis, and I just pulled a, a few of these up. Uh, Marin County, the 25-year-old, uh, the Anthem EPO is the second lowest cost silver plan at 406 for a 25 year old. Um, the Blue Shield PPO is 535. If you go to a 40 year old individual, Anthem EPO, $517, while that Blue Shield PPO is 681. So, you know, we're talking 100 bucks, over $150 per month savings, at least in Marin County, if you have Sutter Doctors and you can switch to the Anthem Blue Cross EPO. Now in Sacramento County, uh, we see that the Anthem EPO for a 25 year old 
you know, 400 bucks. The Blue Shield is $560. Now these are the full rates before any subsidy is applied. If, if you get a, a $200 subsidy, that, that would reduce the Anthem EPO from $400 to $200 per month, and it would reduce the Blue Shield from $560 down to $360 per month. Still, you still have the delta there that's big. Uh, for a 40-year-old, the Anthem uh, Blue Cross EPO uh, Silver, $509, while the Blue Shield PPO is $713. So there is some significant savings, at least for 2022, in these rates. Yeah. 2023 may be a whole different ball game. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but for right now, the Anthem Blue Cross EPO plans have the edge in the rates, either off exchange direct with those carriers or through Covered California with a subsidy. Now, one of the selling features for the Anthem Blue Cross EPO plans was that they had the Blue Card program. And Blue Shield dropped the Blue Card program a couple years from their individual and family plans. The Blue Card program allows you, if you're out of state, um, an extended vacation, you're working, and you need some routine medical services, you can use the Blue Card program and, and get relatively close to what the in-network cost would be if you were back in California. Blue Shield dropped the Blue Card program and they would only cover emergency and urgent care services out of state. And this was a real problem for a lot of people, especially, unfortunately, in Southern California that were in Los Angeles and New York part of the year. Uh, and the loss of that blue card program uh, was significant for them. Unfortunately, the Anthem Blue Cross EPO will not be available in most of uh, Southern California. Spe well, specifically, it won't be available in Los Angeles County. But Anthem does have that blue card program, and it's uh, very important for many people that are traveling. And um, Interestingly enough, we see for 2022, and this is from the Blue Shield evidence of coverage for one of their plans, that the Blue Card program is back. So that may help people who are in Southern California and like that Blue Card program, it is back for them in 2022. And I called and I confirmed that with Blue Shield. So we'll see what happens. Um, but overall, the expansion of Blue Cross and their EPO plans is, is good for you know, California, Northern California. And now that they're including Sutter doctors and hospitals, that makes them that much more attractive as a health plan for uh, California individuals and families, either direct with them or through Covered California. So if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, go to my website, you can find my email address, my phone number, give me a call, and we'll try and track down any answers that you may have to questions. So for Insure Me Kevin, I am Kevin Knauss.